And knowing that the snake bites, uh, well, one at least has been gone. There's the last one. They are going to be hitting this B site, knowing that the utility game should favor them somewhat. And we will see Jazzykins getting the plant. But this fight around Elbow is huge. There goes the flash. It's dodged there. Good stuff coming through from TSM. But you got to connect the shots on top of that. And that will be Cloud9 connecting all of theirs, leaving just Athena. There's a tap to force Oof. a player up. That's a great shot there onto Jazzy. But again, time is of the essence, and there's been a look behind Athena. And there it is. Annie Dro is going to be the one to finish it off with the classic. Be long as well, looking to take garden control. So I like the pressure coming through from C9 White. Oh, okay. Double kill off the paint shells. Fair enough. And might just find a third as well. Indeed. Third kill the paint, the second paint shells. It's not a bad start. They were just they just got paint shelled to death in there. And then she gets another one, and I'm almost certain that the reason the person came out the teleport is stunned is because Katsumi had... It's this fight now over the long position. Uh, it's a good move coming through from TSM, giving up the side, oh. trying to fight for this long control. There goes the flash. Have to follow it up, though, and... Well, I mean, it's so difficult when you're by yourself. You can't really afford to get locked away in that. And they're doubling up against Kath here. There goes the swing! Oh, oh Kath dies the perfect timing! And that's going to be the defuse. Oh my god, that was just... I mean, you couldn't time that better. Clutch. Oh my goodness. And I mean, I, I guess, in fact, it was the checkmate. It wasn't even a strong option. It was just the, the win. Yeah, I mean, once she was in spawn like that, lurked on that heaven wall, there was just no world where, where C9 doesn't get a heavy advantage in this round. It, her getting a triple kill, though, that was a bit, bit much, a bit more than I thought she would get. This doesn't have to take any fights. And really just play the position and there you go just beautiful team play coming through great patience there from annie and it will finish it off four one now in favor of cloud nine white as we go into another buy plays early on the showstopper looking to get the clearance here and it's going to find it takes down kath u-haul control now with c9 white they will also decide to invest the viper's pit here now Annie finds herself. That's a, that's gonna be a good shock dart. Uh oh, uh oh, this is looking problematic now here for Annie Dro. She's gonna have to go for the wide swing. Oh, great stuff there from Zoe and Leia. I mean, yeah, we get the Seekers actually played counter to C9 White there. So they've got 20 seconds left. Time is a very big problem right now for C9 White. And I suppose even more of an issue here is getting through the Shower's choke point. Looking very difficult. Leia Panda just using that Hunter's Fury to delay things even more. Mel is a desperate plan now. Has to stick it. There's no choice. In fact, well, there's the swing. There's just nothing left to do. Trying to creep forward here. That Astrosaur is going to force the engagements. I think that's fake defusing though. This, yeah, this round's over, Dan. We're about to see, you know, five-four score line for C9. They stabilize right there. I couldn't believe it. I thought it was a great call to do the fake Astro Smoke in Garden. I thought they were gonna catch that player in the middle of the open. Well, the cabbages are out, Dan. Yeah, the Seekers are put to use, but Emily, with that position, we talked about it, looking really strong. Oh. The trade though with the Showstopper is beautiful. Athena though. With 30 seconds to go, it's not an easy situation. Everything is known. They know that she's playing by the cubby and by pocket, and that's going to be a wrap. TSM. So protecting Emily's position, and that's why Emily takes down Annie Dro. Leah able to defend against Jazzy, who was creating that space. Satchel jumping onto the site, but even though the trade comes through... And I'm wondering, Sean, if Emily might be a factor or a difference maker, an X factor, maybe to try to defend this. Zoe, brave, once again, looking to make the difference in the Viper's Pit. Great stuff there from Zoe. Massive kill. Athena chimes in to take down Alexis. So much pressure right now on this A site. Leia Panda in the one versus two. The spike still needs to be planted. So Leia Panda with the rotation finds one. Ooh. Jazzy goes down. Leia looking for the second. Oh, oh shocked that straight to the face. Oh. Yeah, this this is this is nice. I like this cosmic divide. This is creating some opportunities. C9 are forced to go forward. The shock dots again. This time from Leia Panda. It is the sober dip after all. Leia Panda is absolutely rocking Cloud Nine White, and Athena will finish it off. And that's just such an epic retake. Given the opening scenes on Hooker looking so challenging, but TSM bring it back.
TSM can put all their attention on the front of the site. That's where the attack is. Great flick from Zoe. And they are cleaning things up here against Cloud9's retake attempt. There's not a lot left here. Mel and Jazzy are both very weak, but still, Mel finds the headshot. The snake bite goes down to buy more time. Zoe has another snake bite, and it's oh. not even necessary. The clutch from Zoe. You have to cross it again to get in the corner of showers or like peek the back right of sight. And then it also allows you to, to retake. And you have to cross it again to get out of showers. So you have to cross it three times if you exit showers. And the defense can use it to retake the site really well. Going aggressive with the Spectre. I mean, you, you've got to try to do something crazy and it's not going to work out. Cloud9 just reacting off the info on B-Long super well. That was so, so sick, Dan. So, yeah, the, the secret to getting past the Viper in showers is using one of the initiators. Doing cool. some damage, getting some kills would be definitely a good consolation prize. Flash comes through. Jazzy's going to get pressured, just playing the angles really well, isolating both players. The ace, in fact, from Jazzy. Yeah, that's going to be a key catch. Zoe will actually, I think, find... Nope. Zoe's going to get... I think Zoe just got... Received the nastiest flick ever, I think. But if they can get that spike planted and reset quickly afterwards, they might be all right here. Emily, one kill away from resetting the dash, but Emily's going to go down and never mind. The showstop is brought out to just guarantee. That's always good for information. And it's, it's the contact through the smoke. You love to see that straight up into so many players. Cloud9 have such a big defense. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, oh. The headshots are raining through now for TSM. They'll take control of Garden. Katsumi's in the site looking to buy time for the team here. She might go down. She has managed to subvert enemy lines. Takes down Zoe and is still causing no. damage off of the reposition. Katsumi is creating massive chances now. Oh, this is just absolutely disgusting. On for the ace. And of course, Katsumi locks in the ace. That did not look winnable. That and Katsumi a, turns it around. A beautiful ace coming out of Katsumi. Of course, there is one lurk coming through. It's Mel from that spawn position. And they've both turned their backs from spawn completely, making the assumption that everybody's coming through Hooker at this point. And Mel's going to be just completely set up to lock this one down. Emily does get the trade, though. But again, this is going to require a lot of work here from Emily. There goes the Cloudburst to try to deny the ping. But there was a ping. And there's the follow-up through the wall from Annie. And C9 converts. Is there money for TSM? I, f I feel like... So he's going around. Tina's going to wait for that. One enemy remaining. And there we go. Mel finds the peek onto Athena, and Zoe now has no time. Has to just rush this one at this point. And just hope for the best. Alexis will take her down, and... There goes the guiding light as Kath pulls out her own. There's the flash. The peaks come through. Katsumi wins the first battle. It's up to Kath now. She's trying to isolate these fights, but Alexis and Katsumi are denying her. They have to get off, though, to try to get that spike defused, and Alexis holds it down. Great stuff there from Cloud9Y as they pick up the... Yeah, I couldn't agree more. And yesterday we preached the narrative of how... So valuable. 400 credits. Able to isolate Kath and... Now it's a one versus three, so one at a time. They want to be giving her those isolated fights, and Emily's going to finish it off. Nice uh, 3k coming through from Emily, so swing is forced after the spike is tapped again, Mel, in the 1v1. And this is great stuff here from Zoe, really playing the time very effectively and making it as impossible as she can for Mel. What? And Mel, I don't know how Mel is so good with the classic right click. I, I, Oh, they're working on that flawless here. Oh, well, they might just get it. Just Mel left. Mel, Mel can still get some value here. Two kills away from the lockdown. Never mind. There's the flawless wow. coming through. The secret lab flawless in the hands of TSM. Unbelievable stuff. The, the interesting thing here now for me, Sean, is it going into the next spy rounds, we have a lot of ultimates. And... We have that lockdown available for Mel, and a lot of teams will, would like to play retake setups. They could try to slow this down as well. They have Zoe kind of possibly able to lurk through the way. She's just holding for the actual the rotation. There's the showstopper from Kath, though, to try to gain some more ground, clear out these close positions, and 
man, she can't find anything off of the showstopper. Alexis, meanwhile, finds the perfect opening. Leah Panda, the last player standing. Ooh, still looking like very desperate indeed. Cloud9, winning that off of positioning. Man, Annie is on one right now. And oh. there's the Viper's Pit. Two versus three, there's definitely a chance with this. That's Pong a goes very behind that Viper's impressive pit. Viper's Pit. I mean, they'll likely retake through Heaven. What is the play? It's going to break it. I oh, love that, but this is looking problematic now. The Viper's Pit goes down and there's no more smoke blocking the vision, making an easy frag for Melt. That's going to be a conversion there for C9Y. So they're, they're bringing it back here, Sean. I mean, much like the first map, it, it just never really seems to be one-sided for all too long. TSM really feeling this one so nervous, but oh. still doesn't matter. Zoe taking down two from spawn. Great work. Now down to Katsumi and Jazzy. Katsumi finally announcing her position. Jazzy chiming in as well. Kath in the one versus two has to win these battles. There comes the tap. Kath, great flick comes through to finish that one off. There goes the paint shells to right click. Will it be enough? They're switching out to the pistol. Is there time here for Jazzy? Trying to find this spike. Where is it? Finds it at the backside. I don't know if there's time for this one. Jazzy's gonna stick it. And there we go. It is done. The clutch comes through. Fantastic stuff from... Ah, oh, this gets really awkward now. It's become so difficult to plan. Okay, the show's up at the creation space. That gets sent forwards. We'll find Jassy can the trade there from Leah Panda onto Mel as well. Evens up the numbers. So it's looking a lot better now at this point. But Katsumi lying in wait here in the upper corridor. Wow. Usually finds great timings, but there's that dirty wall from Alexis. Finding that headshot position. This is just so back and forth right now between these two fighting over this position. TSM now 40 seconds to plant the spike. It's down in no man's land though. Nanny knows it. Oh, that's a big defense. Alexis and Nanny drove coming to life right now, but it's the 1v1. Once again, the pain shells. Look to make the difference, forcing the fire. This classic has to come through, and Annie will come up. Maybe get some money from the spike plant at the very least. That's the probably the best case at this point. <laughs> no one wants to tap so badly. <laughs> that said, it will be a flawless for them, so it doesn't matter too much. And Cloud9 are going to tie the game. Yeah, they've really... You know, came back from the early round struggles they were having. And he'll be forced back, but doesn't die, which is, of course, the most important part. It's okay to give up the position. And he actually looking for a repeat here. He's going to catch Kath. That's very unfortunate for TSM, but they are trading back the frags quite nicely here. The plays off of the distraction. Now Emily's attention is split between these two locations. One AC flicks required to deal with these fights. There goes the 180 oh. and the flying right click from Jazzy Kins is going to lock it in. And it's going to be down to individual oh. prowess. Oh, well, that's a, that's a pick and a half coming through from Katsumi. Really actually makes this doable. Jazzy Kins with a nice dash across and the elevated position on yellow is difficult. Love the cloud burst trying to create more space to play with here. Oh no, no it's way. looking real bad right now for TSM. No they all way. get cleaned up and there's just enough time here for the defuse. Just enough time as Jazzy Kins confidently locks it in and C9 steal away another round. Oh. Athena's going to have to... I mean, they need to find the paddles here. I, I mean, you don't win with this backside setup. Dan. I, I, you don't win. I, Three people just chilling behind the sage wall. I, they'll never, yeah. ever expect this. This is such an insane setup. Oh, it's got a turret as well to just be the meat shield. And just like you said, it's, uh, it's not happening there for TSM. It's again, this double setup below rafters by the sage wall. <laughs> so hard to deal with i mean they, they also have the crossfire going from rafters so if you came down low you would be in that wow they, they bled out all of the util though zoe kept her oh my god <laughs> just, and he just <laughs> took athena's head off with that marshal that was crazy zoe is in such an important position here it really has to come up. World. Yeah, it's it's really hard to envision a world where she doesn't get one, right, Dan? And oh, oh Emily, is that world. is so nice. That is satisfying to see. 
great transfer there. And we were placing the importance onto Zoe there for sure in that flank, but it wasn't needed. And that's... I wonder if they've learned their lessons about this setup. Zoe catches Annie Tro pulling out the knife and it's just falling apart right now for C9. There is still a chance. Alexis with the timing, oh. wrapping around the back. There's a second for the follow-up. It's all on cap now at this point. Tiny, tiny gap, but oh, the snake bites are just perfect. Oh, the tap comes through, though. That might actually give an opportunity. Ka Kath playing this so well. There needs to be one more frag. Kath Ooh. goes to meet Katsumi. But Katsumi is ready. Oh, that makes lurking. Lurking that flank real difficult for Athena. Jazzy really doing such a great job on the jet so far. Ooh, okay, we'll get some kills coming through again. Love out of this Sheriff. Zoe in the mean hand with a couple out of that Vandal. Again, keeping the pressure on. What's really crazy here is that you know, TSM are looking so dangerous all the time, but C9 just find a way to close out these rounds. Zoe not with much time left, trying to make it hurt as the spike detonates, but man... I, so what do they do? What do, do you they... C9 do? Yeah. yeah, do they go into this Viper's Pit or do they go into the op? No, they're going to opt to go through mid. Whoa! Oh, the game sense from Kath. Just as you said it, Sean. And I don't just, I mean, it's not a conscious thought for Kath. There's just a feeling, right? There's just a feeling. What happens uh, when the Viper well, Pit falls? Are they like, uh, should we actually just go plant? Because they're just looking to save here. But yeah, I, you know, going back to that double kill from under tube that's just one of those moments where this is gonna be a tough one here for c9 to hold on to they'll lose mel on the plan and there's no hunter's fury for annie dro jazzy kins and annie dro are gonna just have to hit some crazy shots at this point there's so many bodies in front of this spike emily's waiting for it though oh the whiff comes oh, through no. this is dangerous now and Jazzy is in the action. Annie now open up to get a frag. The, the lurk comes through, and this is looking way too close for TSM. Jazzy looking for the clutch here. One versus two, buying time. The spray comes through. Emily, though, finds it with the operator. And that's going to be TSM. They're back in it. They are back in this one now, Sean. It's 8 to 11. Taste their own medicine, do C9, on this B long position, and it does not taste all that good. Three players left. Of course, it is just. A bunch of pistols, so you can't expect too, too much. But it's certainly a fun round here for TSM. Kath picking up all the kills. And that's pretty huge, too, because, you know, you're, you're charging up that showstopper. With that said, though, Alexis is lethal, and she is doing some serious damage here. Looking for the next frag. The crosshair placement's good, but Athena... Oh, dear. Look at this lurk. This is... This is a perfect lurk. Oh... We, how could you ever expect Mel to be there? The jumping classic coming through now. The harassment from Mel is it's just so annoying and impressive. The levels of threat from her just in spawn, buying time, wasting these players. And she just has to live. And she's done her job at this point. And this is it. It's got to be this Bladestorm from Emily. And Zoe's lurked here through 410. This has to come up to something now. Zoe against four players. It's looking very difficult indeed. Finds the back of one. Alexis goes down. They know where Zoe is at this point. And it's playing into hell, but it's Jazzy with the nice from the back. And C9 White will take this series against TSM in two. 13 to 9 on map two and 13 to 8 on map one. And I think if you were only looking at the stats, you would be fooled here because TSM really looked very good to actually win these games.